In the last video lecture, I had discussed about a little bit about software and I gave you a brief idea about hardware. So if you remember there, I told you software is instructions plus data in a very simple language. So when you talk about software, software is not just of one particular type. Software based on its relationship or how close it works with hardware is classified into broadly three categories. The first is system software. Next is application software followed by utility software. So just to make it clear and easy, by the way of an example, you can think of system software as a Linux operating system, Windows operating system, the compilers, interpreters, okay, these are all examples of system software. Application software is like software like library management, inventory control management, accounting management, billing management, sales management, okay, all these are good examples of application software. So based on what they do for us, that is the function and the type of application they are used for, software is classified into this following three categories. So here if you see, I am showing you a collection of different softwares. It has got like example is Microsoft. Say for example, you got Windows. Okay, Windows is an example of a system software. Skype is an example of an application software. So these things will be clear once we try to take a look and try to differentiate it. The best way to understand these three groups of software is to look at this diagram which I have drawn it quite badly if you ask me. I am not a very good drawing and my handwriting is not too great. So please excuse me on that. So let's say this is your hardware. Okay. Now if you have written a library management software, your library management software is an application software. It cannot directly talk to the hardware. Okay. Say for example, you are reading in some records or some data of number of books being purchased. Straight away you can't use your program and store it onto the hard disk because what happens is your program doesn't have that code or doesn't have those instructions to deal with saving data on that hard disk. This service is provided by a system software. That system software is an operating system. Actually, if you really look, operating system actually doesn't do the file saving. The operating system in turn uses an even lower layer software or a lower level software called as the device drivers which talks to the hard disk and helps you save your file. Or say for example, you want to read a file from the hard disk. Your software will just put a request to the operating system. The operating system in turn will put a request to a software called device driver which in turn will read it from the hardware of the device and give it to the application software. So the innermost layer is the hardware. The system software is the software which very closely interacts with the hardware. The application software interacts with the hardware only through the system software. It doesn't have direct access to the hardware. I'll just let you know what is utilities. Utilities is softwares like Norton Antivirus. Okay, if you want to reduce the size of a file, if you want to compress a file, convert a file from MP3 into dot some other format. These are all examples of utilities. The user is the highest level. So the user, between the user and the hardware, there is one, two layers for him to talk to the hardware. So just remember this diagram in your mind. So it gives you an idea that the closest relation with the hardware is the system software. Application software and utilities interact with the hardware through the system software that is the operating system like Windows, Linux, etc. And user in turn is able to use the computer thanks to the application software and utilities along with the operating system. Now what I shall do is I shall try to discuss with you the differences between a system software and a application software. Alright, let's take a look at this point by point. 
So first thing, on this side we have the system software and this side we have the application software. So system software is a collection of one or more programs or instructions which help the user deal with the hardware components very effectively. Whereas application software is written for specific applications which we use in real world like library system or library management software, inventory control software, billing software and so on. So as I told you system software has the closest relationship with hardware since our application cannot talk to the hardware the system software does that task for you by talking to the hardware. So it allows users to get work done from the hardware. Library system it could be keeping a record of books okay it could be issuing books keeping track of that how many books are purchased how many books are sold all that can be a part of the library system so when you're designing a library system you're not worried about the hardware this library system is going to work on next point okay here system software again it controls and manages the hardware i'll tell you what i mean by that Whereas an application software does not directly control or manage the hardware. The application software merely uses the services provided by the system software to work and use the functionality of the hardware components. So let me tell you what it means by control and manages. Say for example, as I told you a little earlier, I have written a long letter in Word. Word is an application software. Okay, so Word is an example of an application software. Now when I press save button on Word, Word doesn't go and save that file onto your hard disk. Your application program will put a request to this system software in this case happens to be your operating system. The operating system is going to take your request, all the data of that Word file and pass it on to a software called as device drivers which actually talks with the hardware. So the device driver is a system software very unique to each machine and that particular software will physically save your file in terms of ones and zeros. Another example of control and manages. Say for example you are trying to read some lot of data. Okay, Your software program is trying to read a lot of data and the size of the hard disk let's say is just 100 capacity of 100 it's reached 99 so if there is a problem of trying to read beyond 99 because the disk will get full that in message will be given by your system software after it receives that instruction from the hardware to the user now most important operating system software or all system softwares are very machine dependent that means if you write a software for apple computers a system software on Apple computers there is very little chance it will work on the Windows or sorry it will work on a Windows based machine the reason being the hardware may be totally different okay so some of the software which runs on one particular hardware may not run on a other hardware because say for example a better example I'll give you say I write a, a, a write a, a let's say I write a compiler the compiler is written for an Intel hardware. It will work on an Intel based machine. But if I take the compiler without making changes to a machine which uses the AMD CPU, it may not work. Because system software is designed taking into consideration the hardware of that particular machine. While writing application software, writing programs or talking on Skype or designing software, you are not worried about the machine part. That's why application software is referred to as machine independent software. Now let's come to this part. Now if a programmer is writing a system software like compilers operating system he needs to have a very detailed knowledge of the hardware that is known as the architecture of the computer. Whereas if a person is writing an application software like library management say for example like inventory control then you really do not need to know about what the hardware looks like because 
your application will not directly talk to the hardware through the software system software which happens to be an operating system it will get things done for you without having to know about anything about the hardware now system software has the closest interaction with hardware it directly talks to the hardware application software talks to the hardware using a system software through a mechanism or something called as the system calls writing system software is really challenging and complicated it's in terms of ones and zeros you need to know sometimes assembly language whereas writing application programs is relatively easy that's why when you work in embedded systems and all you get more pay compared to working in java and all these things because this is more an engineering job this is anybody with a ba bcom bsc can do an application software examples of system software i gave you compilers operating systems etc examples of application software ms word ms paint okay open office and so on now i hope this gave you a idea about what is the difference between system software and application software at a very high level you need to remember the closer the relationship with the hardware it is a system software because you need to know the details of the hardware architecture the further away it is from the hardware more than likely it's going to be an application software in the next session i'll talk a little bit about a group of software programs or a classification of software called as utilities thank you so much